Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Amber. This is Amber's Books and More and today I have my Contemporary Thon Round 6, I believe, TBR. Let's jump right in. So Contemporary Thon is my absolute favorite readathon. It is hosted by Julie over at Pages and Pens. Natasha from My Reading is Odd and Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. Um, it's taking place um, on this date. It's in February going through the 14th or 15th uh, but I'll put the dates here so that you know. Um, it's basically it is a readathon that encourages you to read contemporary books which before contemporary thon I used to tell people all the time I'm not a contemporary reader. Uh, turns out after a few of these readathons, I absolutely am a contemporary reader and I'm very excited to participate in this round as well. So there are seven prompts. I have picked seven books. I honestly don't think I'll actually get to all seven. Uh, that's a lot for me and especially in one week, but I'll give it a best shot. I did pick quite a few books that could hit multiple challenges. So um, here's hoping for the best and here's what I plan to read. So the first challenge is to read a book with green on the cover and for that one I am going to be reading Be Not Far From Me by Mindy McGinnis. This is an arc that comes out um, March, on March 3rd this comes out. Um, it's pretty short. I've actually never read anything by Mindy McGinnis so this could also fit some of the other challenges as well. But I am picking this one for green because these trees, while a very dark green, and I also have other green books that I could pick for this, but um, I think this is a survival story. I'm not usually big on survival stories, but I've been told that Mindy McGinnis's writing is phenomenal. So I'm excited to at least give it a shot. It's only like 230 pages, so it's good for a readathon and I do want to get this <laughs> reviewed before it comes out. Also the arcs that I'll have in this just in in case you don't know I actually went to ALA which is the American Library Association uh, festival. It was midwinter in Philly just a couple weeks ago so that is where I got all of these arcs. So yeah. The next challenge is to read a diverse contemporary which is my one of my favorite uh, prompts especially in February because it is Black History Month so I do try to pick books that have black characters that are written by black authors to support Black History Month so this time around I'm going to be reading Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I've been told time and time again how much I'm going to love this book so I'm actually super excited to read this one um, and I haven't been doing great at reading my book of the month club book picks so I do I am happy that I will be getting to this one. So this one is about a woman that is chronically ill and she makes a list of things that she wants to do to help her get alive and she needs help so she enlists this gentleman. That's all I know about it. I do like to go into books knowing as little as possible but I think this is going to be a fun sweet like rom-com which is one of my favorite contemporary like a genre to read. So um, this one is definitely going to be done in February for Contemporary Thon. I guarantee it. Or I don't know. I'll be mad at myself if I don't. The next prompt is to read a book with a illustrated cover. So for the illustrated cover I'm going to pick another arc. It is Separation Anxiety and this is by Laura Zygman. So this is about a middle-aged woman that her kids have all like you know left the house. She's feeling a little bit lonely and has a little bit of empty nest syndrome so she decides to start wearing her dog in a baby sling and I think it's just about her finding herself after you know children and as she's an adult and that is something I'm definitely interested in even though I don't have children and I don't plan on having children. Um, I do understand the separation anxiety that can come in with your pets and with people that you love. So um, this one goes on sale in March as well. I don't know, it doesn't say the exact date, but I think it's March 3rd. If that's different, I'll put a different date up here. But um, this one is one that seems super cute. It has this really pretty, super adorable illustrated cover. There's even like the little dog on the side here. So this one is um, one that I 
am excited to get to and i've never seen an arc that had like deckled edges i don't even think you could see it um but it has deckled edges which is kind of cool um yeah okay sorry if the angle has changed i had to rework my tbr really quickly because the book that i had for the next prompt I actually realized it wasn't fully contemporary. It had a lot of uh, fantastical elements and I didn't think that that was fair. So I picked a new one for the next prompt. So the next prompt is actually to pick a backlist book. So a book that has been on your shelf for a year or longer. Um, so after about 10 minutes of deciding that the one I had was too fantasy based, um, even though it was slightly I still decided on another one and that is going to be another book of the month club pick the silent patient by alex michaelitis 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 something like that um this one was a book of the month pick for january 2019 and i've heard really great things about it it's about a woman that kills her husband i believe she stabs him i'm not sure exactly but she's gone silent afterward and everybody's wondering what happened. Did she, you know, have kind of a mental breakdown? Did he, you know, abuse her to push her into this? This is definitely going to be something that is a little on the hard hitting side, um, which, you know, I like hard hitting. This is a little hard hitting, but I'm going to use this for my backlist book because it has been on my shelf for over a year for a year now at least and um i'm excited to finally get to this one so the next prompt is to read a book by a new to you author and though technically i think all of the books on my tbr this month are new to me authors i did want to pick an arc that i got from ala um so this one i picked was pretty as a picture by elizabeth little this is like a murder mystery thriller type novel it's about this group of people that go to this remote island to film a movie with like this ego you know egocentric movie director and it's about this like centuries old murder that was never solved and then these like teenagers i believe show up to because they're like trying to solve it and things get crazy there's murders there's things happen it sounds exciting it comes out on february 25th so right after the readathon is over so i do want to get this read and reviewed before the readathon is over so this one will definitely be one of the first ones i pick up probably um but it sounds really good it's a new to me author and um i actually really like the cover for this it's kind of creepy but yeah the next prompt or challenge whatever you want to call it is to read a dark or hard-hitting contemporary and for that i've decided to read another arc but this is the last confession of august casterly and this is by meredith tate so this is about uh two sisters one sister is kind of the younger good nerdy sister that likes to talk about star wars uh me basically and then the other sister is kind of having a hard time and is into like there's a drug scene and things and then she suddenly goes missing and her sister has to try to find her and help her and i full disclosure i did start it um i got about 60 pages through it and i decided i wanted to wait um and read this during contemporary -thon. so i am 60 pages in but that's not like i'm right here so that's not that much um but yeah so far so good on this one and this one definitely i think is gonna be dark because it has a lot to do with I think the sister's mother's death that happens before the book i think that um it's i think i just think it's gonna be really good so yeah i'm definitely i mean that's gonna be the first one i pick up because i'm eager to get back to it because i did enjoy the writing of what i read so far so the last prompt in the last book on my tbr is to read a beloved book by somebody in the book community or by the book community overall so I decided to pick a book that is not only beloved book to wise, but it actually is beloved to a lot of my friends. Um, and it was gifted to me by one of my very good friends. Um, and so I'm going to read Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. So disclosure again, I am not a hockey fan. I've never been into hockey. I'm from Texas. We don't really do hockey much here. Like we have a hockey team, but I, I, I'm not a hockey person. But I have been told that this does do the like small town, like when a sport, a high school sport takes over the entire small town, which I can relate to being from Texas because high school football here is like a religion. 
Um, and I've heard that it is, it's also dark and hard hitting. So this could go for that. It's also green on the cover. It's a new to me author. Um, and I believe that you would consider this to be, I don't think this is real. There's like a bear out here. It looks like it could be an illustrated cover. Like this one hits a ton of the prompts for me. So I'm going to get to this one. This is one that is my friend Julie over at Pages and Pens. I'll leave her information link down below, even though I'm sure you know who she is. But this is one of her favorite books last year and she bawled and then immediately went into like the sequel of this. So I'm a little nervous, but I am excited to get to this one. So here are the seven books that I plan to read for Contemporary Thon. Next week, I honestly, I don't see me getting to all these books. Like that's a lot of books. And I've, I read five books in January, which I'll actually have a video coming out um, Monday for my January wrap up with five books. But so I don't see me reading seven books in one week when I read five books for the whole month of January. However, I am excited to get to some of these. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe. And yeah, until next time, have a great day wherever you are. And I love you. Bye.